This is the most powerful weapon you carry. It makes you a walking arsenal. It weighs one and a quarter pounds, and it'll do a go-to-hell job on any light or medium tank. Doesn't look like much, does it? But don't kid yourself. The steel that came from that hole was shattered into fragments that whizzed inside the tank like a gang of hornets. You can put that kind of a hole in a tank from 75 yards. But remember, whenever you can, hold your fire. Wait till the tank is smack up on you. Now, give it to him. Hit him square where the armor is thinnest. On the rear. It's called a bazooka. It has knockout written all over it. Like everything else in the Army, it's got an official name. The Anti-Tank Rocket Launcher. And it'll tackle almost any kind of target. It can stop a tank all by itself. Stop it cold. Dish, a light or medium tank. It'll knock a hole through the sides of the tank all day, from any range up to 200 yards. The murderous firepower of the bazooka is already a legend. But in Neptunia, Italy, thinking men increase firepower by using four bazookas mounted and tied to a German shell case. Then they rigged the complete affair to a machine gun mount set on a jeep. The result is a small-sized artillery attack, bazooka quadruplets, four-way murder with a purpose. Now our infantry passed the 
a high rate of fire, 30 shots a minute. That means a steady stream of hot steel. And because of its flat trajectory, it's a real sharpshooter. It can hit a tank square on the button. It won't penetrate a medium tank's blood armor only dented. But just let the tank turn its side. The 37 doesn't kid against the side. Back. 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 